today we are going to talk about making this short animated jungle cartoon animation scene in PowerPoint. The download links of jungle scene presentation have been given in the video description. We used two slides to complete the animation and we can check the total duration of the animation by clicking on the transitions tab, and under advanced slide, we can note down and sum up the timings of each slide, which is 18 seconds for this animation. Lots of shapes and graphics layers have been placed on top of each other, and if we open the selection pane from the home tab, then you can see a huge list of objects used to make the entire scene. On the first slide, we covered the entire background scene with trees and bushes, and on the second slide, we see this bird and a deer, which we will specifically learn to animate in this tutorial. Let's first talk about the deer. We used three different poses of a deer, and showing them at a specific time using the appear, disappear effects. You can adjust the delay timings between appear, disappear effects to adjust the time, for how long you want to show each pose of deer. Now, let's talk about the bird animation. It was hard to name each of these shapes and graphics layers, so we have to thoroughly find out specific layers we need to work on, by showing, hiding one layer at a time. Only the bird's tail and wing have movements, and the tree and rest of the bird's body parts are static. Here in the animation pane, you can see that we have applied a few effects to the bird's head and wing. If I expand these wing and bird head groups from the selection pane, then you can see an object named, anchor point, which is not visible on the slide. So, if I select this oval, and fill color, then you can see that we have grouped this oval with the bird's wing. That is to define a custom anchor point, so we may spin the object from a specific point, instead of always having a default center anchor point. You can notice the difference of rotation with and without the grouped object, to whom we are calling the anchor point definer. Changing the position of this oval will also change the anchor point position. You can watch our tutorial on, how to define custom anchor points and their benefits for more information. On the wing, you can see that we have applied the spin animation effect two times having different duration and delay timings. We are rotating the wing 10 degree counterclockwise, and also repeating the second spin two times. To move the head, we used the grow, shrink effect several times at different intervals. We are using 120% horizontal growth only with auto reverse. As we have also defined an anchor point to the head, so the horizontal growth will begin from this specific point. Repeating this effect several times will create a woodpecker bird effect. Let's move back to our first slide, and to move all these bushes and trees, we used motion path along with grow, shrink effect. All the objects in the background were already animating, only the bushes were on top in the beginning. To make the animation longer, we duplicated the first slide and just removed these top graphics layers from the second slide. You can download these kinds of vector graphics from freepick.com. To have a little more movement in the scene, we use the spin and grow shrink effects on the rest of these bushes. So I hope you will like the tutorial. You can tell me your thoughts about this animation in the comment section.